Arkansas freshman Johnny Carver grew up in a basketball family. Both his dad and brother played Division I hoops, but Johnny's basketball dreams fell apart during his senior year of high school. I was diagnosed with autonomic dysfunction, which is a rare nerve disorder, uh, prior to my senior season, so I had to stop playing and uh, I wasn't able to play like my brother and my father did. I always had a lot of health issues while I was playing. Instead, he dove headfirst into writing a book called Rankatology. Johnny developed a brand new statistical algorithm to determine the greatest player in the history of the NBA. He started with the 75 best and then whittled it down to the top 25. And uh, the book came out and had our 25 greatest and uh, I wrote personal profiles about each of the 25 players themselves. I can't tell you who finished number one, but it wasn't Michael Jordan. There are players in there who competed in living color and in black and white. LeBron, Kobe, Shaq are there. But the older players from the way back machine compared favorably with some of the current stars. The biggest thing that we did is we took NBA Finals MVPs, which were created in the 1968-1969 season. Uh, and we have separate scales for players that played before, during, and after those years. So players that played before, they have a higher statistical weight for other categories, you know, such as number of championships, uh, career points, uh, playoff appearances. You know Michael Jordan's in there, but what about his buddy from Arkansas, Scottie Pippen? You'll have to buy the book to find out. Just know it's a good read either way.